It's summer and it's time to float the river. Working with the Bend Park District and Cascade East Transit, Ride the River Shuttle is back. Here's some tips on where to park and how to use the shuttle. Take a look. The Bend Park and Recreation District understands and, and values as much as everyone else in the community what the access to the river, especially in the summer, means for each of us. So we have um, access available from uh, Riverbend Park as well as Farewell Bend Park. Parking at Riverbend Park uh, fills up pretty quickly. So we also encourage people to, to take use of the overflow gravel parking lot that's next door at the dog park, as well as we have lease space from Deschutes Brewery across Columbia in an, an additional gravel lot. So we do want people to be making use of that additional parking space that's available. So we really encourage people to think about their parking plans in advance and take advantage of carpooling options and the Ride the River access shuttle that's available. Ride the River is a shuttle service that allows floaters to easily float the river in downtown Bend. A shuttle service picks them up at the takeout here at Drake Park and then it drops them off back at River Bend Park where their cars are generally parked. Hi, we're at Drake Park. This is the pickup point for floaters for the Ride the River Shuttle. And we operate seven days a week. That is every day of the week from 11.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. The bus will come by here every 30 minutes. On warm weather days when it exceeds 90 degrees on Saturdays and Sundays, the bus will actually come by every 15 minutes. Wristbands are available for purchase from Sun Country Tours or from our bus drivers. They are $3. You'll receive a wristband and that's unlimited rides on Ride the River all day. Behind me is where the shuttle will pick up and we would like to remind the public not to park there because it is the loading zone for floaters getting on the bus. Parking around the Bend Whitewater Park is uh, limited as well. There's, there's sewer line work that's being done right there at McKay Park and additional work that we're doing to McKay Park. So the whitewater kayakers and surfers and paddleboarders who are going to be using the Bend Whitewater Park are encouraged to park at the pavilion. So if you do choose to park at Miller's Landing, we ask that you come upriver, use the pedestrian bridge to cross over, and then access the uh, park on the river left side of the park, as opposed to going through the repairing uh, area near Miller's Landing. If you choose to portage around the Whitewater Park, uh, follow the temporary signs that will lead you to the end of the park near McKay Beach for re-entry into the river. Safety is an absolute priority to the Bend Park and Recreation District. Whether you're floating on the river or using the Whitewater Park, Oregon State Marine Board requires life jackets for anyone on any type of craft, such as a paddleboard, kayak, um, and any children under the age of 12. But Bend Park and Recreation District strongly recommends life jackets for everyone. Today we are at the intersection of Riverside and Tumalo, uh, which is the takeout for the river use. Um, the river shuttle stops here uh, for the river users. We encourage people to use that as an option for um, transportation. If people are using cars for transport, we do encourage them to follow all the rules of the road, such as not parking in bike lanes, in no parking areas, etc. We, we do certainly encourage people to use courtesy and not to park in the neighborhoods if avoidable and use other means of transportation such as the river shuttle. 